I think it's a healthy mindset for a woman to think that there's a possibility that other women will want your man, number one, and two, that he could possibly cheat if he wanted to. I know it may feel better and make you happier to think that your man doesn't cheat on you and he's faithful because he's a man, you got a good man, he's of virtues and values. Chances are he's just lazy. And the reason I say this is because we as men, well, not we, I'm a man of virtues and values and that's why I don't cheat, but those men out there, they don't cheat because they're just like, you know what, they've kind of aged out of it. They're like, they've realized that there's just too much squeeze, too much effort for not enough juice. Like, what's, what's really the point? Apparently, men are supposed to cheat because of sexual variety. They want to see on something new, touch on something new, and whatever it may be. But in reality, they get there, and then they're just like, wait, what? First of all, this woman doesn't even know what I like. At least my wife and my, my, my girlfriend, whatever it may be, she knows my ins and outs, top to bottom, right? And then, secondly, it's already hard enough to keep one woman happy. I got to keep two, three, four, five women happy, then keep tabs on all of them, have all these different conversations. Hell no. Hell no. So I say all that to say that you do not have a good man. Your man is one of the dirtiest, most vile, with the most ridiculous, gruesome, gross thoughts you've ever even, you can't even imagine, you can't even fathom some of the things your man has thought. But he's just too busy with, you know, mortgage, bills, stress, and trying to keep you happy that... He's uh, not going to cheat. First of all, I think this is really funny, like especially because he keeps putting these reminders on the screen. Like, remember, I'm not talking about me, but it's like, sir, sir. But um, I think this is really, really good for women to hear this coming from a man, especially because at the end of the day, sometimes just because your man is not cheating on you, it doesn't mean that he's not capable. Doesn't mean that he hasn't thought about it. Doesn't mean that it has not crossed his mind because more times than not, it probably has. Like there's a strong possibility that it has for sure crossed his mind before. And so I think that women need to hear that because there's a lot of women who get into relationships and they decide that they no longer want to be with this man because maybe the spark is gone or because maybe the relationship has gotten boring or maybe the relationship has like plateaued at some point. And so they kind of like think that he doesn't still got it. And I think it's necessary for men like men like this man to come on and say like, no, as simple as you see that your man is in your eyes, as calm as you see as he is, as chill as he is. And, you know, even the fact that you think like, oh, he could never possibly pull that off. Men are capable of doing that. It's just whether or not they choose to operate out of that mindset um, that keeps a lot of women you know, in that situation, right? That keeps a lot of women in that comfortable space. Like, oh, my man will never cheat on me. This also furthers the point that I always make over and over again, that a lot of women um, get bored in the relationship or get into that space of plateauing or uh, getting stagnant in their relationship and they leave because the quote unquote spark dies because there's not another woman involved. Because it's so interesting that like when women are in situations that other women are involved in or maybe he, it's a possibility that he might cheat or it might keep them on their toes, like they are more inclined to not only stay in the relationship but try to do the right thing, right? Because they, they feel that underlying competition going on and they want to win, which it, it's mind-boggling, right? It's mind-boggling. Most men that are, um, you know, faithful in relationships – they just honestly just can't be bothered, right? They don't want to go through the chaos. They don't want to go through having to, uh, you know, go through the leap, leaps and bounds or hiding or whatever. They just don't feel like it. But it does not mean that it's not because they are not capable of doing it. And that's something that a lot of women need to not only hear but need to digest, OK, and I saw a lot of women in the comment section like, oh, you know, thanks for letting me hear that. Now I'm going to go stress my man out. And it's like, no, ma'am, like that's not what's going to help you in this situation, because what he didn't say is that, you know, he's like, oh, you know, most men are too busy trying to please you, trying to, you know, fulfill their relationship, trying to fulfill their duty within the relationship. He's trying to pay the bills like he just doesn't have time. But there's another side to that as well. 
Because the minute that you stress your man out, guess what he is going to lean to? All of the strength in the world to be able to find, to have time to do this. That laziness that you see that he's operating out of right now in that um, exercising mentality, all of a sudden he's not going to be lazy anymore and he's going to be able to find that strength to go out there and go find somebody who's willing to do all the things that you're not willing to do, willing to uh, be peaceful, willing to be calm, willing to be cooperative, willing to cooperate with him and not willing to fight him on every bending corner. So there's a big difference than men who um, are not operating out of that space just because they don't feel like it and men who are incapable. I think a lot of women think that men are incapable. A lot of men, women think that their man is incapable. And ladies... If you met a man, okay, that is, that's attractive, that's handsome, uh, that looks good, that always looks his best, even when he goes outside with you, like, you're always like, you know, babe, you always put yourself together nicely. Like, don't get it twisted. Okay? Don't ever think for one second that you're the only woman in the world who wants him. Because a lot of women do that, right? Like, a lot of women will be like... You know, they'll see their man outside or that he puts on something. Don't nobody even want you. Like, they tell themselves that fact to make themselves feel better. But that's not true. There's a lot of women out here who are on the prowl for a good man. Okay? For a man. Okay? Let's just be honest. I don't care what you hear on social media. I don't care what you hear people talking about how, oh, you know, we don't need no man. And stuff. There's women who are on the prowl. So don't get it twisted. Even if your man gets comfortable in the relationship with you, which that's a whole different conversation, they're comfortable, the, you know, both parties being comfortable, but don't ever think that he can't possibly go outside and pull a female. You're attracted to him. You were attracted to something. Doesn't matter if he gained a couple pounds. Doesn't matter if he puts on whatever when he's going outside with you just because he feels like it. Like he can pull somebody. So don't ever let that go over your head. And always keep that in mind, especially when you're having dialogue with him, when you're disagreeing with your man, when you and him are not seeing eye to eye, like always keep it in your mind that there is a possibility that somebody out there will still want him. So don't ever take your man as like this simple Simon, like, oh, nobody don't want him. Oh, he's boring. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. And I also want to say, like, a lot of women get into situations with a guy who kind of gets comfortable or they in their mind, the woman gets comfortable in their relationship and somehow she feels like this man is also simple. They get into the relationship with this guy and then they get comfortable, whatever. Then they get bored because, you know, the spark is gone and the relationship is, you know, not as fiery. Uh, the tension, the sexual tension is not as high as it used to be or it once was. And so now they start to feel like, oh, you know, this guy is kind of like whatever or whatever the situation is. Right. But then they'll retreat from the relationship, break up with the guy because they don't have that spark. And then down the line, all of a sudden, they're going to see that guy with somebody else. And then they're going to be like, oh, where did he get her from? You know, how did he end up in that situation? How did he end up with somebody else? And it's because whatever it is that you didn't see or you didn't feed, like there's going to be somebody else out there who will do so. A lot of men are comfortable in relationships because the woman is also comfortable. Right. You're not putting on your best dress to see him. So he kind of gets into that same monotony with you of like not trying to impress you. And then the next thing you know, he gets with somebody else. And of course, he goes to that same thing. And she's always keeping herself up. And guess what? He's doing the same thing. So what's going to happen at that point? You're going to see a whole different version of your quote unquote man that you knew with somebody else. But I think it's very important that women keep this in mind. Like there's always a possibility. I don't care how good, how strong the connection, how deep the bond is. Like, I think it's a healthy mindset for a woman to think that there's a possibility that other women will want your man, number one, and two, that he could possibly cheat if he wanted to. Contrary to popular belief, I think that's a very thought process to have when you're a woman. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you.